Hello racing fans and welcome to Race Day Preview. Twenty twenty four. The feature event is the PW's Choice Trophy that will be the ninth and final event on the race card. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to this YouTube channel Yard TV. And please remember to press the notification bell so whenever a content is dropped, you will be notified. Thank you very much for tuning in to Race Day Preview on Yard BTV. I am Anthony Johnson. Thank you very much for tuning in to Race Day Preview on Yard TV. And we'll say, please remember to like, share, and subscribe to this YouTube channel, Yard TV. And please remember to press the notification bell so whenever our content is dropped, you'll be notified. Uh, quite a few of you guys are watching and have not subscribed as yet. Just press the subscription button before you even start watching, please. Press the subscription button. Do the, do the right thing. Press the subscription button. The first race, the post time, is 12.30 p.m. is for three-year-old and up, claiming 1 million to 800,000 and nine declare number one on Rooley Dool. We haven't seen this one since the 30th of December last year when it was a three-quarter length winner over traditional lady. Has been working very well. I think we'll have to run very, very fast to win this event. I think he might be in need of the run. Number two, God of Love, not the force of yesteryear, but is they're about boxing around. Chances are God of Love could turn around his form come tomorrow afternoon and be unsaddled in the winner's enclosure. Number three, generational is getting fitter and fitter with racing. Fifth by five and a half length behind Emperor of the Cat. Ryan Lewis is asked to do duty now. Please make note the figure eight is on. Coming out of the camp of Ron Matty also have God of Love. So please make note, God of Love is trained by Rowan Matty and Generational is also trained by Rowan Matty. Number four, Power Ranking seems as if he's running into decent form. Third by four lengths and last, coming five furlongs straight, will enjoy the five and a half furlongs, a mere 52.5 kilo. Power Ranking will have a fighting chance. Number five, KP Choice, 55.5 kilo, jumping out of her skin. We see on Sunday the seventh of the seventh, gallop five and a half in one minute nine and four fifth of a second, five furlong in one minute three and three fifth of a second, very very easily indeed. Number six, Alexis Lodge need more time. Number seven, one like it with biting off more than he can chew. Number eight, Bugatti will tap for two against these. While number nine, last lick, the sources of potential here. We haven't seen this one since 2023. That's October. He only run once, 2023. This hours, remember, run up a sequence of win four straight here. I think he's back here. We'll just back for the experience once again. But for me, I'm taking number five, KP's choice, to continue on his winning ways to get the better of number four, power ranking. A good one expected now from number two, God of Love. And my fourth choice is number three, Generational. The second event, they go seven furlongs is for three year one and up optional claiming five fifty to four fifty. Native bred five year one and up numbers of four and imported five year one and up numbers of four once again. And we have six to clear. The class horse in the lineup, take a punt, was a short head winner over life is life. We haven't seen this one since June the second year. Has been there about. We haven't seen it much on the exercise. We only saw this one. The Friday the 28th of the 6th went shot. Sunday 7th of the 7th shot. Here has been gingerly prepared by Jason Acosta. We know this horse is plagued with a little bit of issues. 
but we have to keep this horse on the right side is in this race without a tag so chances are take up on is okay number three anonymous is also a good horse this horse was a runaway winner on april the 20th year in one minute 30 and two fifth of a second for seven furlongs have his issue stable change here um you know it's a question sign but anonymous has the class and could be there about at the business end what if take up on and anonymous does not turn up come tomorrow afternoon the fittest horse in the lineup is no doubt number six premier identity to be partnered by tevin foster taking orders from peter john passad here this horse has been working very well has been busy on the exercise track we have to keep this horse on the right side once come away keenly this horse will have a fighting chance number five aka storm could be the controlling speed in the lineup radish roman is in the iron while number four fault line performed dismally and last as chain stable not fancy in fault line come tomorrow afternoon for me i'm taking number one take upon only just to get the better of number six premier identity my third choice is number three anonymous but be careful people if they allow aka storm to set off in front this aka storm could be a dangerous contender the third event they go six and a half furlongs is restricted allowance five for native bread five year well and up numbers of two and imported five year well and up maiden and we have 70 clear number one princess tiffany showing a clunker and last not fancy there number two assurity is running to decent form and could actually put it together come tomorrow afternoon number three caveman will try to will set off in front and try to make all number four amid ali here as his checkered form and his ali is basically better than these these and once given the green light amid ali will be there at the business end the horse i think they will all have to be though is dancing dancing with a cat that's chain stable now taking order from anthony dixon that's been looking up at exercise down to the cat will be very difficult to beat and i'm taking number five down to the cat to get the better of number four i mean ali my third choice is the speedy number three cave man the fourth event restricted allowance five for native bread four year well and up runs of two and imported four year well and up baden seven clear they go five furlong straight number one sky rizzy here have been showing poor form to date but can turn around the form at any given time taking orders now from donovan plumber has been looking up at exercise they call for a strong rider here which is philip parchment keep sky rizzy on the right side sir wang dong not fancy there along with number three bad investment number four dan pablo was beaten out of it third by half a length and last will enjoy the five furlong straight and we'll have a fighting chance in this fourth event number five blinking light finishes lame on last but has been busy on exercise track here rather showman is in the irons here blinking light will be very difficult to be staying best left alone while number seven maggie strict a better draw on the outside here this maggie strict must be treated with a lot of respect for me, I'm taking number five, Blinking Light, to get the better of number four, Don Pablo. And my third choice is number seven, The Dangerous Magic Trick. The fifth event, they go five furlong straight, restricted allowance three for native bread, four year well and up, none is of two and imported, four year well and up, none is of three, and we have eight clear. Number one, City Or. This horse is very speedy. John on the inside here, love the five furlong straight, keep City Hawk on the right side, has been looking very well on the exercise track. Number two legit boss here is slumming in this grade, and if the right legit boss turn up, he will be unsaddled in the winner's enclosure. Keep legit boss on the right side. Benson up in grade, only can improve from his last run here, while number four, Huntsman, 
join a clunker after missing the break and that was that with a cleaner trip come tomorrow afternoon huntsman could be a dangerous contender and he's my outsider of the day come tomorrow afternoon number five speedy air is getting fitter and fitter at the right time third by three lengths than kokomo and commander z and last year based on that speedy air must have a chance in this event number six oasis jack is taking orders now from paul hilton was claimed out of his last race when beaten a half a length by Emperor of the Cat, keep Oasis Jock on the right side. Number seven, the dangerous and the very fit California Gold will enjoy the five furlong straight if the speed collapse. Look no further than California Gold. He loved the straight horses for courses. California Gold is a dangerous contender come tomorrow afternoon. Number eight, KD Strong will also run a capital race. He loved the straight, one out of the straight at 11 to 1 shot price on the 28th of april so okay this strong love we love this straight horses for courses i'm taking number four huntsman to create an upset to get the better of number seven california gold my third choice is number two legit boss my fourth choice is number five speedy air and to complete the i5 number six oasis jack that's the order or oh, i like the selection come tomorrow afternoon my outside of the day Huntsman to create a mile upset. The sixth event on the race card is the payout leg of the Reggae Six. Yes, the payout leg of the Reggae Six, race number six. And um, we see they go five and a half furlong with street allowance five for native bread four year with an up numbers of two had imported four year with an up maiden phillies and mares 14 declared zaglophonic steel not fancied coming from the inside draw number four baby love looks a picture of health on the exercise track the other morning we see on the sixth of the seven this horse gallop out the straight in one minute three and two feet of a second for the seventh one for the first four furlongs here this horse looks in immaculate condition. Please make note, blinkers off, first time late six, table change here. Taking order from Anthony Nunes, Babel Love will be very difficult to be based on his exercise report. Looking here at number eight, Princess Aquila, that's table companion of Babel Love. We have to keep this one on the right side. This horse is better than his form is suggests. Number nine, Mrs. Linton have possesses speed. Number 10, Pretty Caroline is slumming in this grade this pretty carolyn is better than we led to believe here and once given the green light this horse could be a dangerous contender come tomorrow afternoon number 11 simple sensational he, he, he shows some lustrous form when coming around the bend here not fancy coming around the bend come tomorrow afternoon number 12 sister d could produce a good run and entered in the winner's enclosure was a beaten second by half a length behind pass right out of the street at a big odds of 21 to 1 and last sister d must be treated with respect number 13 read my licks showing a clunker and last dinner grace a gallop yet if you can show the run through the window and if read my lick can reproduce is the 9th of march run when he read one in one minute 10 at seconds flat over five and a half furlongs and was second when brick brian express i think read my lip to have a fighting chance in this event we have to treat read my lip with a lot of respect but the horse who have been excited on the exercise baby love get the nod to get the better of his table companion number eight princess Aquila. my third choice in this event number 10 princess caroline if given the green light will make short work of the opposition this boss is better than we led to believe number 12 sister d is my fourth choice and to complete the i5 number 13 read my lips the seventh event on the nine race program is the john clifford wright memorial cup and it's the restricted allowance four for native bread four year one up numbers of three and imported four year one up numbers of two and we have something now this is not a restricted allowance it's a main race it's a main condition race so the print in the book is off this sixth seventh event is a major race here made for condi made a condition race for native bread three year old and they go six furlongs 
We all hear as much time in this event as number one, so beautiful, is the 10 star bankers, the conscious banker come tomorrow. Take number three, that secret mission to fill the exacta and to finish third, number four, girl, the busher. The, the yard beat exact of the day is one tree, one tree. So beautiful and secret mission to fill the exacta. The eighth event, the penultimate race, is overnight allowance for three year and up. Eight declare. They go five furlongs round. Number one, rejected Raja. Not showing the form. We know this horse have the potential to show better form. Number two, Freedom Street. I like Freedom Street, has been preparing very well. The Antipos favorite, Bootylicious here. The 45 favorite, 57 kilo. We are looking value for money. Bootylicious is the horse to beat, but we are looking value for money, and I'm taking Freedom Street to create a mile upset. Number four, race car, best left alone, not fancy there. Number five, Laban, could run a good race. Keep Laban on the right side. You will enjoy the strong ride from Tevin Foster. Number six, Kokomo, is very fit just now. Is improving leaps and bounds. Keep Kokomo on the right side. Number seven, the up in grade money market. Very fast here, but we'll have it difficult against these. And life is life. We'll have it difficult against these. Freedom Street to create a mile upset. To get the better of number three, Bootylicious. My third choice, number six, Kokomo. And my fourth choice is number five, La Band. The ninth and final event on the nine race card for Sunday. Is restricted allowance two for native bread, three year old, none of two are imported, three year old up maiden and fill it, males and fill it, five and a half furlongs. And we see number one, Firecracker, is back here with us. Here was a winner on last year in one minute, ten and two. All they can improve from that run. Don't tell Lulu, not fancy there. Queen of Soul, have it difficult against these. Motivate me, baby. Here is very fit just now. Will be the Antipos favorite and will be right there at the business and wrap them. We'll have it difficult against these ship sip, sipping on sunshine. Is running to decent form here. Was beaten by rags to riches on last 55 kilo. This horse is improving here. Keep sipping on sunshine on the right side. Number seven, clear Patrick. Cleopatra Queen, China Clunk, and fancy tomorrow afternoon. Number nine, Crypto Girl. My idea of doing that to create a mile upset while number 10 hit and run a little bit difficult in not fancying pineapple in the last race. Crypto Girl is my choice to bring the curtain down to get the better of number four. So number nine, Crypto Girl, to get the better of number four, motivate me, baby. My third choice is number one, Firecracker. And my fourth choice is number six, the very fit and improving sipping on sunshine. So there we have it, racing fans. Let's go back over the, 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 the selection. In race one, we are taking five, four, two, and three. Race two, one, six, and three. Race three, three race three, five, four, and three. Race four, five, four, and seven. Race five. Four, seven, two, six, and five. Yeah, race six. We are taking four, eight, ten, twelve, and thirteen. Race seven, one, three, and four. The yard beat exact of the day is one, three. Race seven. Race eight. We are taking two, three, six, and five. And the ten, ten final event, bring the curtain down. The ninth race, nine, four, one, and six. The queen of the day. Nine four can't change, can't go any other way. Nine four one and six. There we have it, racing fan. Race day preview. I look at the nine race card on the for tomorrow, July the 14th, 2024. Enjoy the weekend now. I am Anthony Johnson. Thanking thanking you for tuning in to race day preview on the RB TV. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to this YouTube channel. And please remember to press the notification bell so whenever a content is dropped, you'll be notified. Enjoy the rest of the week in, weekend now. Best of luck and happy hunting.